Hey everyone, this is Kendall from Sweetheart. This is a tutorial on doing double backgrounds on a sign, um, both a gradient and a sun vector. So you want to open up your picture and look at the image size on it, the width and the height. That way you can make the gradient and the sun vector the same. If you click the preserve aspect ratio and you make it unchecked, then you can just change both sides up without having to worry about like um like when you change the width, the height changing too. So you can change them both on your own. Alright. And then this sign right here. Ah. Just wanna move that over there. And then the gradient over here. And then the sun vector. And you want to use the polygon tool. And you want to go around the picture. You want to copy it and paste it onto the gradient. You might have to move it around a bit or something. And then validate paste. And then go back to the polygon tool. And you want to go back around it, but you want to put some width. Like I'm going off to the side. And then copy it and paste it onto the sun vector. And it looks really well if you use the polygon tool again and go back around the gradient. This adds a really cool effect to it. And it makes it pop out better. and shows the difference between the gradient and the sun vector. Go to Filter, Stylize, Progressive Contour, and you can change the width to whatever you want. Make the color black. Check, make sure the outside is checked. Your opacity is at 100%, and the blur is checked. And then you hit preview. And then you can see that it adds like a 3D effect to it. Like it's off top, it's not on top, completely on top of the back, the uh, sun vector. And then if you like how it looks, hit OK. And then you can add text and do whatever else you want, change the colors on the sign. Alright, well, I hope this helped.